Hello YouTube, we are the Recti Kids, and today we're going to be talking about baby southern alligator lizard care. To start off, when it comes to a baby alligator lizard, a tank around this size, probably just like five, a quick little five gallons, maybe a little hide and stuff, that works out perfect for them. And then when they become like a juvenile size, a, a ten gallon tank would be perfect size, just like this. They need, they require... One hide, this is a hide that we made out of sticks and glue, one hide, a water dish, preferably shallow, and they should be able to fit in the dish. Because if they get too hot, they, they're going to need to be able to cool down. And then I, I believe they also should have a food dish, like this. And then you can put like worms in there, baby crickets even, because they love those. And like, you can even feed them baby spiders from outside. They should, they are semi-arboreal, so you should have a log like this, like a stump too, and then a little um, vine, which are little lizard Marbadukes hanging out in. If you, if you can't see him, sorry about the quality, but he's in there. And then, yeah, there's rocks, you should add little decorations if you can. And remember, guys, this is, like, a really big setup, like, for a lizard his size and, like, a really good setup. D feel free to not go this crazy when it comes to the setup and care. But this is, like, a perfect cage for one. And for food, they should have baby crickets and little soup worms, if you can find them. And it should, and whatever the food is, it should fit in between their eyes. Because it's very important, or else their digestion will be messed up. Lighting. Lighting is, you should have a 0.10 or 0.5 UBV bulb that doesn't produce heat. Don't be, the bulb is a little close to the log, but it, do, it doesn't get hot because it's a UBV bulb. And he, he loves to stand there because it produces very little heat. It gets about 80 degrees just on that very tippy top, and then the rest is around 75 degrees. And that should be the proper, like temp for baby alligator lizards, 75 degrees all around. They do not need a heat mat, especially if they're babies. If you if you really did want them to have a heat mat, they can actually warm themselves up. So they're semi warm blooded, so they can warm themselves up. So don't worry about having to need a heat mat. And if you really did want one, I wouldn't suggest using one when they're babies because that could, like, I'm afraid they'd, like, burn them or something. And if you ever did get a heat mat, even if they're adults, you should always have um, a thermometer to check it. You need to really make sure it doesn't get over, like, 85 degrees for the heat. Because it could really burn them. And that we do not want that for our reptiles. So, that concludes the baby southern alligator lizard care.